We are going into John Boat Cafe. The owner, John, has a wonderful menu of Cajun food. Absolutely delicious, and we're looking forward to some really good eating. This is John. He's John Boat, apparently. Uh, he's the owner and proprietor of John Boat Rest uh, Cafe. And uh, so, how did you get started in the, in the uh, restaurant business? I moved up here from Houston, Texas, about ten years ago, and I uh, ate all my fill of hamburgers and Chinese and Mexican food in the area, and I was looking for a good catfish and Cajun place, so I decided to open my own place, and it's been a work in progress over a year now and I keep adding more things to the menu and tweaking recipes until I get what I'm you know I like and what Tommy likes. <laughs> well the, al the alligator was absolutely amazing. Thank you. Um, so how did you get to uh, did you have a taste for Cajun food or are you from Cajun country? I was an oyster shucker in Texas for several years and managed a seafood restaurant and then I used to work for a scientific company and we'd travel up and down the Gulf Coast collecting oysters and water and, se and sediment samples and we'd eat every chance we got in Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, and Florida. And so I got used to having so that Cajun. Cajun. Yeah, Cajun style food and I moved up here and there was absolutely no place to go. So I so decided to Where do you get your supplies for the Cajun food? Do you right now them? Yeah, different vendors, suppliers, but right now alligators hard, it's scarce. Mm -hmm. My Say it's a hot night out. All of us have a full belly. Uh, we're looking forward to going over to the Art Walk. We're going to visit the museum uh, that has uh, a lot of photographs and some different artwork that was contributed by local artists that have to do with the uh, with the tornado that tore through Joplin. Uh, we're going to go around and see what different booths are out, uh, see what kind of shows are going on. There's just no telling what you're going to see at the Art Walk. On May 22nd, 2011, uh, an EF-5 tornado hit Joplin, and uh, we're here uh, in one of the photo galleries of the destruction. Uh, once again, we're pretty local, so some of this hits pretty close to home for us. But Joplin's rebuilding. Uh, the city's very strong. The people here are fantastic and very determined, very strong people. So. Uh, if you are here and uh, come through this uh, through this little museum, you can kind of get a sense. Uh, it'd be a small sense, but you can get a sense of the destruction and then look around at what's happened since then. Let's see. of the month um, there are people all over it's freaking madness apparently they're going to have a running of the bulls but they're not using real bulls they're using people with bull horns I find that humorous uh, there's just art everywhere it's really kind of a neat deal so if you're driving around Joplin and you happen to be up on the third Thursday of the month come. so what have you guys got going on over here well, uh, so this is Fluffy Pop. It's a vintage art gallery, vintage and uh, handmade uh, trinkets and okay. regular old fun stuff. The, the handmade stuff, who made it? Oh, uh, well, the artist is inside there. He's uh, okay. these folks here. And also some of our friends have made some things, you know, art. And, and uh -huh. uh, let's see, our friend Nelly up there, those pinwheels and the... Right. Hunting, I guess is what it's called, and then there's some uh, ceramic little uh, has stamps on it and coated with uh, enamel and little coasters and stuff. Okay. Just fun little thing. Very neat. So where are you guys from originally? Oh. So which of, which of this art is yours in this lovely train? I do most of the pinup girls, and they're kind of like interspersed around. Mm -hmm. Um. I don't know. I love doing figure drawing. I think it's really fun. So how, how did you get started in drawing and artwork? Um, since I was a child, since 
<laughs> yeah, I just have always been like uh, artistically inclined, and my parents really like encouraged it. So, um, you know, I went to college and got got a basically worthless art degree, but no, it's been it's cool. Like, I, well, but you got to practice. And get exactly. Right. Exactly. Yeah. So, what, what's your name? For me? Martha. Martha. Uh huh. Awesome. Well, your artwork is fantastic. Oh, thank you so much. I guess that's the art bus. Yes, the art bus. Oh, is that the one where the girls are touring around all the junior highs and stuff and doing the art? Yeah. That's awesome. Really. Uh, so we were in existence two years before the tornado, where he was special needs behavioral disorder, our kids. So basically, kids are overcoming obstacles in different ways. So once the tornado hit, we found ourselves in in a position where we help every child in the because of the trauma that they face. So, That's really fantastic. Yeah. So, did you go to school to be a counselor of sorts or an art, artist or what? Um, you know, art is something I'm incredibly passionate about. And I started art piece when I was 19. So, I was a sophomore in college. Um, I'm still working through everything. And um, I just sat down with my advisor and said, what can we do that will help you run this better? So um, we had sociology, art, marketing, business, education. So yeah, I just have to kind of... What kind of stuff do you do with the kids? Is it just drawing? Or is it no, we do everything. So um, it's therapeutic based and also creative education. And so, um, and actually they are really hands-on because our teams of educators are three to five educators so that there is one-on-one -on -one with the students in each classroom. So it's an average of four students to one educator. Um, and we do tons of different stuff. We've done art journaling. We let the kids we build Joplin physically with cardboard, huge cardboard boxes. Um, we do a, a dancing, painting, drawing, photography, everything. So, yeah. That's awesome. I'm, well, it looks like you're doing a fantastic job. Kids are having a great time. It's very neat. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you very much. We had a lot of fun wandering around in Joplin. I hope that you'll join us the next time that we take a trip with American Byways. Uh, this is Daniel Lane, Justin Rogers on the camera. Have fun. We'll see you on the road.